Welcome to the Arizona Wildcats Video Extra, brought to you by Fry's Food Stores. I'm Star Sports Editor Ryan Finley, here with John Gold. We're talking softball, John. Yeah. Here in a matter of hours, Arizona yeah, it's up. and Louisiana. I have no watch. On you have no watch. You're looking at your rest. Uh, but yeah. sweet. Yeah, Arizona and Louisiana Lafayette will face off against each other. The winner of the yeah. three-game series moves on to the Women's College World Series. John, mm -hmm. you talked to Mike Candrea and their players oh, yeah. earlier this week. Uh, what do they say about this matchup, and how do you think uh, they'll fare? I think they're they're ready to sweat. Uh, mm -hmm. Louisiana is going to be muggy. It's mm -hmm. going to be a little gross, yeah. um, kind of like you imagine Louisiana to be. Mm -hmm. Both of those two mm -hmm. things. Um, but I think what they're going to have to adjust to uh, is the fact that in Tucson, you hit a, a pop fly and it's 700 foot home run. I mean, mm -hmm. Mickey Mantle hit it. Uh, you take this to Lafayette, Louisiana, and the ball, it's like, have you ever tried to throw something into jello? <laughs> and it just sticks. sticks. Yep. Uh, it's going to be that. It's going to just stick in the air. You're going to be able to have to grab it out of it. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's the issue, is this is a team that leads the country in home runs. Mm -hmm. I wonder how many they're going to hit this week. That's true. And, you know, Louisiana Lafayette's no slouch in the power department. Oh, Neither, they're number two in who the knew, country. Who knew? Who knew? It, you look at the pitching matchups in this thing. Obviously, mm -hmm. Louisiana Lafayette... <laughs> It has the ace that Arizona typically has. Yeah. And the Wildcats are going to have to cobble it together again like they did last weekend. Yeah. Um, what's expected of Estella Pinon this week, and what would be considered a success? A success, I think, is, is if she pitches two of the three games to wins. Mm -hmm. That's a right. success. Uh, I can't imagine her starting all three games. Mm -hmm. I don't think she's that kind of workhorse. She has a fastball mm -hmm. and a fastball. Mm -hmm. It's not like she's someone with a, a cork ball and a screwball. Mm -hmm. right. uh, she has what she has. Uh, the issue is... That only lasts so long, and especially in the heat, especially in yeah, the humidity. Yeah, yeah. And so, and, and especially against the lineup like Louisiana Lafayette, you know, right. they're going to get their their pops in. Sure. So, the bigger worry is not Shelby Babcock; it's that they have no one past her. Mm -hmm. um, there are times when you said you can cobble things together; mm -hmm. uh, they can't do that really. It, mm -hmm. It's it's really one and one a. Mm -hmm. um, and in this case, you're talking Kenzie Fowler's gone. Mm -hmm. Mike Candrea, Mike, Mike Candrea in this program planned. Mm -hmm on it being the Kenzie Fowler show. Mm -hmm. And they got it first her first year. Right. And it's dwindled down and down since then to the point now where their backs are against the wall. And I don't know if they have just the sheer numbers to work their way off it. Sure. And that's the big worry. This is the Arizona Wildcats video extra brought to you by Fry's Food Stores. Ryan Finley here with John Gold. John, you talked to the players and the coaches this week. Mm -hmm. What's their attitude like heading in? Do they know that it's gonna have to be, you know, an 11-8 kind of game or? Are they intimidated I, at all? It's interesting that you say that. I think Mike Candrea is kind of, kind of more resigned to the fact that his team is so one-sided, that, mm -hmm. that the strength is really just the offense and mainly the power in the offense itself. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's not, he's not someone who champions that. Mm -hmm. I think he's a little thrown off mm -hmm. by just how much this sport has changed. Uh, he's used to... And he talks now mm -hmm. like he's expecting two to one games. He, you know, he says it's all about getting on base in the playoffs. It's all about mm -hmm. manufacturing runs. And it's like, coach, you've played the best pitchers in the country all year long. You played Alabama, UCLA, Oregon, mm -hmm. some dominant teams. Uh, this, there can't be a tougher schedule than what Arizona played this year. It has to be one of the toughest. Mm -hmm. And so I don't understand why he thinks now all of a sudden his offense is going to be hitting singles and doubles, mm -hmm. and maybe. He's that worried about the thick air. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think the players are as worried. I, I think they realize their strength. I think mm -hmm. they're comfortable with their strength. Uh, they rally behind the pitchers rather than needing the pitchers to rally behind them. Yeah. And, and I think that's something that's going to benefit them well going into Louisiana where we're talking dominant. Christina Hamilton is dominant, 27-2, mm -hmm. and two, I think with a 1.54 ERA. Mm -hmm. She's not someone who's going to let them nickel and dime her. She's not someone who can they can just hit singles against. Mm -hmm. They're going to have to do it, and I think they're taking that mentality out there. Great stuff, as always. Yeah, John Sorry Ar I stumbled a couple times. <laughs> Arizona plays tonight and then two games on Saturday. The third game, of course, is only if necessary. Yeah. So uh, we'll be checking in next week, talking more Arizona Wildcats softball. This is the Arizona Wildcats video notebook brought to you by Fry's Food Stores. For yeah. John Gold, I'm Ryan Finley. We'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. Try this matchup, low prices and faster checkout. You can count on it at Fry's.